everybody and welcome to Korea Overland. My name is Ben and today is Gear Wednesdays. So saddle up and let's go because today we're going to talk about cooking stoves. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. It is a wonderful, lovely, lovely, kind of coolish day today actually, uh, here down in the city. So lovely, uh, not too sweaty. It is awesome, lovely, great day for, uh, for uh, nearly the end of June. So uh, before we keep going, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so already. And hit the little bell because we do have two videos per week so you'll get notifications sent to you when they are uploaded. Okay, as I had mentioned, we have our Gear Wednesdays. And as always, I am properly prepared. Uh, that's right. So this week I actually went out to uh, to uh, a camping store to purchase uh, a couple of products just to show you. And don't leave until the end uh, when you when you come to the end of the channel because I have some exciting news. So stay tuned for that as well. Don't. Uh, don't uh, skimp out on the ending because something great is uh, coming. Okay, so today we are talking about camping stoves. Now, um, there is uh, certainly going to be a personal preference when it comes to camping stoves. Sorry, I just had a notification on my phone go off. Um, there's, you know, it, it really is um, personal preference and, and my, my uh, video today is certainly going to be uh, in large part personal preference. However, we know that there is a myriad of camping stoves that you can buy these days in a way that maybe 10, 15 years ago just wasn't uh, really available. So basically, we had the Great Big Coleman Green. Uh, I'm sure you know this, uh, the green Coleman stove with the red fuel tank that goes back like 30, 40 years. Um, some of you probably had one in your family. I know we did. Um, so there's that style where you have a uh, two burner stove. Uh, and then you get kind of the micro cooking stoves that are used for uh, for more serious outdoor kind of environments. Um, so you have uh, lightweight stoves uh, with a, a fuel container on the bottom you screw in, or maybe you have a, a red uh, gas can that fills either with uh, white fuel or some of them can be multi-fuel or bi-fuel. Um, that just means that that stove is able to um, cook with uh, different fuels. I used to have uh, an MSR uh, Firefly, Butterfly? Firefly, uh, I believe is what it was called. And I love that stove. It was a little bit heavy for a single burner, but it was very, very solid. And that one actually allowed me to use uh, three or four different fuels, uh, including diesel of all things, uh, in order to burn. Now, of course, uh, using some of those dirtier fuels, uh, it's really going to gunk up the inside a lot, so uh, that would be more for an emergency only. But you can have these two, basically these two ends of the spectrum. And nowadays we have uh, lots of things that are in between. Lots of things that are in between. Um, you can get, uh, in Korea of course, you can get the uh, famous or infamous, depending on how you look at it, uh, the single burner square stove with the butane can. Uh, those are still very, very popular, even in houses. Uh, people still use those. So it is something if you want to cook around a table in your living room, uh, that is certainly something that can be done. So, um, so there's all sorts of, there's all sorts of uh, different appliances that you can use. Now, with all of that being said, I'm actually going to make an argument today 
that the micro the micro stoves are still the best and i want to tell you why i think that but i'm going to tell you after my review of these two products um, so uh, I have purchased these pot products myself with my own money. There is no sponsorship involved uh, in these uh, two items that I have for you today. So uh, feel free to um, feel free to criticize as you will. So there are two, there are four items I have all together, and I'm going to bring these out. Throw the bag over there. So first of all, I want to talk about your fuel. Now, these are two examples, uh, two small examples here of some of the uh, butane cans that you can have in the, uh, and you can buy these fairly readily in, in Korea. They're not overly expensive. This is premium ISO butane. Uh, this is, uh, what was this one, 250? I think this one was, no, this one is, yes. So the volume is 247 milliliters. This weighs a total of 110 grams, okay? Uh, and this one here is 500 milliliters weighing at 230 grams, okay? So you can see the size there. Now there is a larger one and it stands about this tall and it's approximately, I think it was 900, uh, I think it was 900 milliliters. So there's basically a small, medium and large available uh, to you. So these are, you know, I'm sure there are other different products. This happens to be uh, uh, a Covia. Uh, um, but again, you can, you can buy these uh, types of things anywhere. Um, in order to access, this is the top here. And what will happen is, and I'm going to show you, your, uh, your, um, your uh, nozzle is going to go on top of here and it's going to clip on, poke through there, and you'll start the, the, uh, the gas flow. Now, how long do these last for? Well, it are really going to depend on how much you're cooking. Uh, so, before I get into this, I do want to mention one thing. There are these, um, basically, there are systems called fast boilers. And if you're doing uh, hot water, for example, let's say you want to make pasta. So what you can do is you can use these fast boilers that bring a liter of water to temperature in about a minute. So that's a significant, uh, that's a significant saving of gas on your your actual burner, like if you have one of those single uh, single uh, burner uh, butane stoves, right? So you could think of something like that, where you pre-boil your water, dump everything in, then turn your main stove on, and then cook from there. It's just a way of making sure that you can actually uh, get your water to temperature uh, as quickly as possible. I'm going to put a link uh, in around this video so you'll know what I'm talking about. Those I don't have today, um, but they are really, really handy and they're an excellent piece of equipment. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about is this one right here. This is called the Camp 56. And the reason why it's called Camp 56 is because you go camping with it. And this is a lightweight 56 gram titanium stove piece. Okay, now I've not opened this up, but of course I know what it looks like. So there's the sleeve and here's the box. Now on the box, uh, the box does have uh, some English on it as well. So good for our English speakers. Um, and it also does have some Korean on here as well. So on the box, let me take my glasses off. This is made of uh, su uh, sup uh, supalite titanium. Uh, it has pot supports, uh, the burner head and the adjustable, the adjuster for the flame. Um, 
it uses um, 162 grams per hour of butane. So this little one here is 247. So basically you're gonna get about two hours of burning on this little tiny one here, which is not bad actually, which is not bad. Um, so yeah, and uh, this, is, uh, this is a Korean product. Uh, it is actually uh, made uh, in Buchon, where I used to live a long, long time ago. So let's open up this uh, bad boy here. Oh, check this out. So it's got some further instructional documents inside. Very important to have. Always, always make sure that you know what you're doing with your camp stove before you're out there, please. Okay, now this is kind of nice. It's got this nice little sleeve. Uh, this is great, actually, because it provides a little, per, a little bit of protection to the pieces that are in there. So that is a really, really nice... It's a little thing, but it's a nice thing. Okay, here is the... I can put my glasses back on because I'm not reading anymore. I got my different glasses. So here, here's, the, here's the stove piece right here. This is it. So put this side by side, just for size comparison. So there you go. Now, this opens up here. This has three, this has a, 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 tri, a tri stand, and it opens up a little bit further like this. Okay, so you've got, uh, you've got a short, so if let's say you're just using, uh, let's say you're just heating up something on a, on a cup, right? The cup can go right there, no problem. If you're using a pan or a, uh, or a, a pot, it provides that extra little bit of surface so that you're not gonna be all so wobbly. Now, here, this uh, little thing right here, this is your adjuster. This is your flame adjuster here. And this is, uh, I don't know if you can actually take that off. This has the uh, AS number on it. This is the after service. Uh, I'm gonna leave that on for now. I'm not gonna take it off. And of course, just so you know, this here is literally going to screw on top of here. So I'm gonna do that right now. Gotta turn that off. You smell the butane, <laughs> but it's all right, it's all good. I thought it was off actually. So that's what it looks like there. Okay, very, and this is really lightweight. So you think about one of these, one of these again is 110 grams, and we've got this at 56 grams, that's 160, 100, what is it, 166 grams? So 166 grams, uh, this is going to last you for two hours, uh, and that is very lightweight. Really, really nice uh, lightweight uh, system. I'm not going to turn it on right now just because I'm inside and, you know, it's flame. I don't want to do that. Um, but there you go. That's what it's like there. Okay, so let me flip this off here. Get that out. I'm going to smell a little bit of the butane again. So that's the, that's the, um, that is the, uh, what is this called? The Camper 56. I will leave a link down uh, in the description below to these items, just so you can go check them out yourself, of course. Now, the second one I want to show you, let me just put this all away here in its nice little thing. I love this. I, you know, I know it. I know it. It seems uh, it seems silly to uh, to to think about this, but actually having something that small that has its own little pouch, yeah, that's I love that. That's awesome. Um, okay, the second thing, the second one I want to show you, uh, this is called the Camp Four. Now the reason I bought this actually, to be quite honest, is a little bit of nostalgia because it actually does remind me of that dragonfly. Dragonfly, uh, MSR Dragonfly that I used to have uh, way back when. So, uh, 
here's the box and this one here as you can see comes in its own plastic shell container which again it's obviously not as small like you can see the difference here right you can see the difference uh, but it's nice that there is uh, something here anyway so pop the lid off and check out this bad boy now to be quite honest I like this one this this I like and the the cost of the dragonfly about I think when I paid for it, it's about $160 US uh, this one here I paid uh, 70 bucks for uh, and it it's very very similar to uh, what I had before so that's pretty cool um, so this one here was uh, 70,000 won uh, this one here was I think 40,000 won uh, approximately okay so uh, un, un, undoing this one here we kind of twist these down this is actually upside down there's the th the uh, burner right there we flip these upside down right now and now we have got a very very nice and I'm gonna flip these down there we go and now we have a very very nice stand this sits very very well on a on a table or on a bench something like that so there's the there's the look of it right there it's very very nice again there's a tag on there uh, that's the AS tag I'm gonna leave that on for now um, so it does have everything is nicely foldable okay everything folds up very very well into something that is uh, something that is uh, a nicely compact all right now with this one here with this one here um, again you have this little uh, nozzle and it goes onto the it screws on just like the last one I'm not gonna do it this time but it just screws on and you're good to go now the big difference between these two obviously there's there's two big differences the size and the weight the size and the weight um, this comes in at if I can remember here this one comes in at hundred and ninety one grams all right just as it is right now no sorry 291 grams comes in at 291 grams and this one uses a hundred and forty grams of fuel per hour so basically this one here is 250 so again you're getting two hours of fuel out of this little one and you'd be getting four hours of cooking time or burning time out of this one so if you were going for one night and you were cooking your dinner and maybe uh, the morning breakfast uh, one of these canisters probably would be okay for each of these little uh, each of these little stoves now uh, a couple things I really like about this one uh, this has got a braided it might be hard to see here it has a uh, braided fuel line which is really really nice and why is that uh, because you want to have that fuel line as solid it is bendable of course but having that metal uh, that metal around the fuel line uh, will help protect it especially if somebody comes along and just walks on it uh, it's gonna provide I uh, give that fuel line extra little bit of protection so yeah that's also very nice this here also spins around 360 degrees so you're not stuck at kind of putting it at weird angles in order to get the right um, uh, the you know the right fit on your tank so uh, the other reason why this is great and I'm just going to use this as an example uh, is that uh, this obviously has a better uh, sitting it's it's a better sitting position when you think about the uh, the 56 gram one uh, the legs don't come out as far and it provides a much more um, 
a much more uh, solid and uh, stable platform, especially if you're cooking with a larger pot. Okay, so this is definitely nice. The other nice thing I like uh, here, you might not be able to see this, this actually has uh, deeper ridges on the arm here so that your pot, uh, if it fits within this circumference, your pot will actually kind of uh, fit into uh, these teeth. If you have a little edge on your pot, and I know some of them do, it will fit right into those little notches, again, providing a, that a, a little bit more uh, level of stability on there. So this gets me to my la my initial comment about stoves being personal preference. Um, I know that a lot of car campers uh, these days obviously are going to use something that is uh, a single or, or double burner and they figure, hey, why not? Of course we can. Uh, we're driving. We don't have to pack it in. Uh, essentially, that's what this is for. This is designed for somebody to put in their backpack if they're going on an overnight trip and they want to be able to have a nice hot meal at the end of the day. This here is perfect for them. It's great. No problems at all. Um, this one here, I would still recommend as a backpacker, to be quite honest, even though it's a bit heavier, it does provide a little bit more stability. However, if you're car camping and you're, you have a single burner, this here actually is lighter and it saves space. Now, again, you might be thinking to yourself, but Ben, I'm in a car, does it really matter? Well, yes and yes. Everything that you pack in a car obviously needs to be carried. Now, it's not being carried by you, it's being carried by your car. The heavier our car, the more we pack our car or our truck up, then obviously it's going to have, uh, it's going to increase the weight of the vehicle and it's going to increase the fuel consumption of our vehicle. Now, you and I both know that we love camping, but at the same time, I would suspect that we do want to be aware of our natural environment as much as we can. So, by reducing our weight a little bit here and there, we reduce our fuel economy, or we increase our fuel economy because there's less weight, and we are burdening the environment less because of that. And that's the big point that I want to make. While it's true, we might have these great big double-decker burners or maybe even a smaller, bigger, uh, a smaller uh, single burner. Again, that's putting weight into the system that you might want to be aware of. Okay, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind when you're doing your stuff. So you could buy, you could essentially buy one of these for your main, uh, for your main entree. And you could have something like this going on the side to warm up your water for your coffee or your tea. It is possible that you could have two burners, but they're lighter and uh, they will uh, still enable you to cook your hot foods. Okay. So as you know, there are a myriad of, of uh, different stoves out there. Uh, give me a link below. Tell me what you use and why do you use it? And maybe also uh, do a weight comparison. Maybe find out how much yours weighs compared to these other two. Um, I will leave uh, links below in the description so you can click on them and go check these out for yourself. All right. Now, before you go, I did say we had a big announcement. And of course, I did uh, have a video for you already. I believe that video was at the beginning of the show, if I remember correctly. Hmm, yes, I do. Um, so the, basically what that video is, and I would highly recommend you go take a look at that, is uh, yesterday I got permission to uh, do two videos next week, uh, next Tuesday, to go and record some video in two different camping stores uh, here in the city. So I'm super excited about that. This doesn't mean that we're being sponsored in any way, shape or form. Uh, 
Uh, there's no, there's been no money passed between them and me. It's simply them giving me the opportunity to come in and record. Uh, hopefully it'll drum up a little business for them. Uh, that's my hope anyway. And uh, a few more subs for me because of it. Okay. So thank you so very much, everybody. Uh, do take, do take good care of yourself. There's only two days until camping time. So let's get ready, everybody, and have some fun. Remember, live life well. Peace, everybody.